Emmanuel Macron will push for EU leaders to agree to a united defence policy in a bid to sell more arms and military equipment across the bloc and counteract the AUKUS alliance. French President Emmanuel Macron will tell his European peers the AUKUS crisis could be an opportunity to make the case to the United States that the European Union can play a strategic role in the Indo-Pacific, French officials said on Monday. Australia's decision to cancel a big submarine contract with France and go for US-designed vessels instead as part of a new security alliance with Washington and Britain to counter China has riled France and caused tension between Western allies. We could turn a blind eye and act as if nothing had happened. We think that would be a mistake for all Europeans, an advisor to Macron told reporters. There really is an opportunity here. European Union countries can play a strategic role in the Indo-Pacific region with the United States in terms of trade, security, defense and defending freedom of navigation, the official said. Without elaborating, Macron will take part in an informal summit of EU leaders in Slovenia today during which he will update his counterparts on his conversation with US President Joe Biden last month after France briefly recalled its ambassador to Washington. We don't want to push Europeans into making a sort of binary choice between partnership with the US or Europe turning inward, the Macron advisor said. The issue is how to create the conditions for a partnership in the best interests of Europeans. Knowing the United States obviously remain our allies, Macron has struggled to convince all EU member states to get on board with his push for European strategic autonomy in the field of defence with many in Eastern Europe especially seeing this as possibly weakening the transatlantic security alliance. France, with overseas territories in the Pacific and the Indian Ocean and 7,000 troops stationed there, considers itself an Indo-Pacific power and had struck arms and security deals with India and, until recently, Australia, to protect its interests. Last month, Macron signed a deal with Greece for French frigates worth about 3 billion euros. The move was sold by both Macron and Greek Prime Minister Kyriakos Mitsotakis as a pact that would boost EU defence autonomy, but some in the EU were sceptical of the deal and are concerned it would only serve to flare up tensions between Greece and Turkey in the Mediterranean. One EU diplomat told Politico, It is a bit bizarre to say the pact contributes to European sovereignty. By all accounts, this is a traditional 19th-century defence pact between two European powers. It has definitely more to do with the pursuit of narrow national interests than with Europe tensions between Greece and Turkey have been rising over disputed waters in the Mediterranean that contain fossil fuel reserves. When asked whether this deal risked raising tensions in the eastern Mediterranean, Macron said the accord did not target a country specifically, but Greece, as the outer border of the European Union needed to be protected. I don't get the feeling that in the summer of 2020 it was Greece that was bellicose in the eastern Mediterranean, Macron said, alluding to Turkish actions in the region.